uh, these days, I think if, um, if either side takes a position on, on a particular policy and how it turned out, the other side would almost certainly dispute whatever that is, no matter how mathematical or empirical it may be. We can't agree on things like whether the president uh, until very recently, whether the president was born in the United States, you know, we, you know, that there is a willingness to uh, to traffic in things that are so obviously and clearly false. Uh, and but the the problem is that the ones that are easy to identify as false, like that, you know, like like the president's citizenship, are one thing. But did a policy really work? Well, do we really do we trust who did the calculation? Do we trust who brought the data in? Those are these. You know, we live in this time where we can't agree on even the most basic measures of things. So, I mean, is, is it? Can we really get over that? Daniel Patrick Moynihan famously said, "Facts are stubborn things," and I have found I had to testify before a committee of Congress. Usually, you testify, nobody shows up, and there's not all that much interest, uh, to be honest. This one, everybody came, and people on my side of the aisle, Republicans who didn't like food stamps, the, the SNAP program today, uh, learned that there had been this longitudinal study um, showing that young people who were on SNAP actually had an 18 percentage point increase in high school graduation rates. I had members from the Republican side come up to me afterward and said, saying, you know, I've always opposed SNAP. But that's a really good study, and you're now showing me that it's not just about you know people going through the same food line and you know often unnutritious food, but nutritious food and and like real outcomes that lead to productive work. And um, you know I've got a new view of it now. So I think Melody's right. We have to bring this idea of bring money ball to government, data driven uh, policy making to government. And there's a wonderful effort, Results for America, which has brought together Republicans and Democrats from both sides of the aisle, uh, from you know, budget directors and policymakers to embrace this idea. And I think evidence has a way of cutting through the ideology, because ultimately facts are stubborn things.